a Saturday night. No, it isn't. No. What night is it? It feels like a Saturday night because everyone's out. Thursday. Thursday night in Hanoi. Last Thursday night. Yeah, that's me. Last night for Nari. So he's flying back to Korea. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I want to go back home. <laughs> you want to go back home? Yeah. Why? Because I uh, want to go to... Once again, the Monday morning travel vlog is going to be traveling. I'm definitely going to miss Vietnam, but it's been, you know, for me it's been like seven months that I've been here, so time to move on, get back on the road. <laughs> road? <laughs> well, back on, back in the airplane more like. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, Here come the police doing their alcohol checks. You're not allowed to have chairs on the street. So every time the police come by, they pick up all the chairs, the police drive by. And then look, 20 seconds later, 10 seconds later. The chairs come back. It's a beautiful thing. I like it. Hello. <laughs> In some of the earlier episodes of the vlog, I was wearing a black hat. Well, you know, when you're traveling, sometimes things just go missing. You're switching rooms a lot, you're switching cities a lot. And somewhere or other, I forgot that hat. Um, so it's time to get a new one. You want to see it? I don't mean fuck tomorrow, like disregard the future. I just mean live in the present as much as you can. Enjoy every moment. That's what I'm going to do tonight at this market. My last Friday night in Hanoi. In fact, my last Friday night in Vietnam. There's gonna be some big changes coming to this vlog really soon. So far, I've been living in Vietnam the whole time that I've been making this vlog, and that's about to change. I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm going just yet, but you're gonna find out pretty soon. So long, Vietnam. So long. So here I am again, in an airport, in Vietnam, saying goodbye to the country that I've lived in for the past six months. When you live in a country that long, it becomes home, and it becomes a part of you. But as I sit here in this airport, and I wait for my airplane to take me off the ground of Vietnam and officially out of the country, you know, I can't help but think that I've already left. Because what is an airport? What, what is this? There's nothing Vietnamese about these chairs. This is just another kind of sterile, bland, average, uh, international territory, if you want to call it that. There's, there's no sense of the culture that I've gotten to know. So, as I sit here, I just wanted to make this video to talk about saying goodbye to countries that you've lived in. Because I really don't think that you say goodbye in one moment at a time. I think that, really, you say a thousand small goodbyes. What I mean by that is every time that you leave something you enjoyed doing or some place you enjoyed going, 
every time you do something for the last time, uh, you're saying goodbye to that. When I had my last Cafe Suda, the delicious Vietnamese coffee that um, I'd never had anything like before I came here. When I had the last cup of that, I was saying goodbye to a piece of Vietnam. Last night when I sat by the lake in Hanoi, I was saying goodbye to that lake and that piece of Vietnam. When I left Saigon, where I was living for a few months, uh, I was saying goodbye to that experience and to that part of Vietnam. Daddy, we will miss you. Same thing when I left Mune, when I left Da Nang, when I left Phu Quoc Island, when I left all of the little spots that I visited, all of the little towns and cities that I've gone through. Uh, I had to say goodbye to that part of Vietnam. So, I mean, this airport, uh, you know, they, they might say I'm still in Vietnam. I might not have my stamp yet for the next place I'm going. But in my mind, I'm already gone. So I guess I'm making this video for no point other than to, you know, give some thoughts as I leave this country that I've called home for quite some time. And to leave you guys with the message that when you're leaving a country that's had a deep impact on you, a place that you did call home for quite some time, um, be present as much as you can in those last few days, those last few weeks even, and you know, just enjoy everything for the last time. Don't let it slip by. Don't think that your big goodbyes can be the airport because what's an airport? Your big goodbyes can be to all those little things that you enjoyed doing. Um, because that is my experience of Vietnam and that is your experience of wherever you went to. Anyway, I hope some of those words rang true for you guys. I'm Dan from The New Travel and I will see you guys on the world.